Hello everyone, so today's shave we're gonna try a new software from a brand that I haven't tried yet It's on my list and it's gonna be taken off the list and we're talking about grooming department The one I have is the La Ventura uh, By the name I'm sure it will have Lavenda, that's what I'm assuming anyway I have to say I love the label there, one of the main reasons I chose it um, Looks like a painting more or less, really really nice So that's what we're gonna try today, to go with it I'm gonna go back to an oldie that I haven't been using in a while Talking about the Simpson Trafalgar T3 it Was one of my favorite ones, still is, but I haven't been using it as often So I wanna go back to it And we're gonna go with a Rockwell 6C uh, level, actually level 4 So that's where we're gonna start with And a blade that I love and I haven't used it in a while as well I'm talking about the Nassets, one of my favorite ones so let's get ready, let's wet the face and uh, start uh, our shave. Now, let's go. Just dry my hands there first. Now, let's load up the blade. Now set blade first. There we go, loaded. Now, take care of the brush. Now, the brush is there soaking, let's open up grooming department La Ventura and see what we're working with. Let's go! Now, not intensive on the puck, definitely lavanda. It's a different take on lavanda, I have to say. Feels woodsy, hmm, there's more stuff here. Um, th th this is a lavanda scent, yeah, very relaxing, not intense at all, but a, a complicated scent, I have to say. Nice, very soothing. I do feel there's more stuff here. Hopefully, while I leather it, I'll, uh, something more comes up, but it feels more like a woodsy lavanda, and it's not a very intense uh, scent at all, but it's strong enough for you to feel that it's complicated. It's not very subdued, let's put it. I'll, I'll give it about a five in terms of intensity, but it's lovely. Yeah, really nice and soothing. So let's let's work it. I'm just gonna leave the lid here so you guys can see. By the way, this is Kairos SE uh, base. Uh, so I don't know. I never tried the previous ones. I never tried grooming department. This is gonna be my first time. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I said it's not intense, but it's actually filling up even from the puck. It kind of hints you. You don't need to put it straight on your nose, but it's a, a, it's a scent that f feels subdued. Yeah, but it's actually funny. Uh, it, you have those scents that just hit you. They're very intense um, and strong. This feels like, I might, I might contradict myself there. I, I, I feel like a, a, it's a strong scent, but doesn't feel intense, if, you, if I'm explaining myself there. Yeah, so let's go, let's leather it up. There we go, I have to say straight away, I just washed it there, I'm gonna leave it there drying now. It definitely intensified as soon as the water hit, so the level went up, definitely. Um, not to an 8 or something like that, but it definitely intensified, I would say about a 6 now. Very, very nice, I have to say. Yeah, and, and it was as soon as the brush hit and I started swirling a few, the, 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 the scent just intensified straight away. I felt citrusy there actually, woodsy citrusy, yeah, it's, it feels like a really different take on, on lavender. Mm, nice. So let's go, let's leather it up. There we go, leather up. My god, what a leather. Creamy, real, I have to say, thirsty. You have to put plenty of water on this one. Uh, but Jesus Christ, look, creamy, really, this is my kind of uh, of leather. Creamy, dense, just keeps forming, and the more water you put, the more forms. Wow, look at this, exceptional leather, I have to say. Wow. Just look at those pics, definitely. What a leather. 
Congratulations to grooming department. Leatherwise, I have to say, exceptional. Now let's see now when we shave, but uh, I'm expecting big things now, I have to say. From the way the, weather, the, the, the leather formed, exceptional, I have to say. And the other thing as well, the scent definitely intensified. It's like it's going up. I'll put it on a seven now. I feel that I, I still feel the same thing. It's a different take on lavender, woodsy. Um, there's some kind of citrusy there as well that I'm, I'm feeling, but um, I feel more woodsy and lavender than the, than the citrusy. But there's a citrusy there, but a hint that comes from time to time. But my God, exceptional leather. This is a, another one on the top, I have to say. Really, really nice. Let's warm up the blade now and start shaking. There you go. So Rockwell 6C level 4, hopefully it shows there, yeah, level 4 with a Nasset first use, one of my favorite blades. Before I finish, now, glides so effortlessly, really slick, feels soothing the skin straight away, but not much post slickness there now at the moment, nope, but feels really, really nice on the skin, I have to say. It just, the razor just glides on it like there's nothing there, just really, really, really nice, yeah, but it feels drying in the skin, so let's keep going and we'll see how it goes. Great, first pass done. Now, I said dries up on the skin. I don't feel it's actually drying up on the skin. I feel it's soothing the skin, going into the skin. Because as soon as you put some water, and you guys can see there, as soon as I put some water, it, the post slickness comes up straight away. But it feels like as soon as you put, like, I'm gonna try to explain. When you pass the blade and the, and the razor just glides effortlessly. It's like there's nothing there. I don't know how to explain butter. But then, hmm. Got a nick there, uh, but but then if I go back with the with the the razor, it feels like it's completely dried. Feels like the 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 skin soaked in the 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 rest of the leather that was there. But as soon as I put a, a hint of water, the slickness comes back again. Like I'm gonna show there, wet hands with a bit of water. Look. Yeah, but it's not as sleek when the leather is there. Like when the leather is there, there's loads of protections and really, really, really sleek. Yeah, you still be able to buff, but I would advise put more leather because with the leather, it just glides like there's no tomorrow. So let's go, let's get ready for a second pass now. There we go, dry my hands. Let's go back to the brush and to this lovely, lovely leather. Let's go. There we go, I have to say, still forming, and look, just look at the amount of creaminess on this leather, just lovely, I love this, I love when you, you feel the creaminess and you feel it soothing the skin, just gorgeous, and the scent is actually a bit more strong, still kind of, as I said, feels like a complicated twist on, a, on lavender, woodsy, nice, and an all year, all year scent, I have to say, hopefully the splash will be as good as the soap, so here we go, second pass, Rockwell 6C with a Nasset uh, first use. The other thing I have to say, that now it's not drying as much, so it might have been that I needed even more water. So definitely a thirsty, a, a thirsty soap. Just, I love the creaminess, but uh, yeah, look, it's sinking into the skin, moisturizing the skin. There's still sleekness there now, but it's, it's like the skin is sucking in. Yeah, it can buff look, but I would advise put more leather instead of doing that. But yeah, and the skin is just feeling lovely, lovely. Let's keep going. There we go, second pass done. I don't think I missed any spots. I have a few pimples there, so I got a few nicks there. Definitely gonna have some kind of feedback around here. Wow, yeah, my skin is feeling gorgeous, guys. Just gorgeous, feels like I just moisturized my skin. Really, really nice, I have to say. Yeah, and you feel it sinking into the skin. So let's go, wash this off, and then we'll see what we have left on the brush. There we go, dry my hands, and let's see what we have left on the brush.
just lovely. No. Yeah, you feel it sinking into the skin. Just feels gorgeous, this leather. It's like silk on your face. Just lovely. So let's go. Let's take this off. And uh, then we'll go for some witch hazel. I know for sure I'm gonna have feedback around here. Because uh, I have a few nicks there because of my pimples. So let's go. Let's take this off. There we go. Pet my face now. Let's go some witch hazel and tea tree oil. There we go. Now some feedback around here as I was expecting and around here. Places where I have pimples and I more than likely scrape them. But lovely. Yeah, and my, my skin is just feeling gorgeous guys. Gorgeous. So that's it. Let's just try. I'm gonna wash all my stuff and I see you back for the post shave. See you in a bit. We're back. Now before the post shave, let's do something that I always forget to do. Which is taking the name off the board. So let's go. Grooming department. It's right there. And here we go, off the board. Now, there we go, another name off the board. So now we can go into the post shave. I'm still feeling some feedback around here. I don't know if you guys can see that it's a bit of redness. It has nothing to do with the, the shaving itself. It's some pimples I had there. So otherwise, really, really nice. You can see on this side how gorgeous it is. Lovely. So let's go, let's shake it up. And we go into the Laventura grooming department post shave or splash. Just say aftershave. There you go on the back. So aftershave. Just gorgeous. Yeah, the scent is a bit more intense. I'll give it about a seven. Gorgeous. It feels like um, an oily lotion. You still feel the burn. Not intense. Not that intense burn. But you still feel a burn there. I don't think it has alcohol per se. But I'm not completely sure. Let's see here the ingredients. Loads of good stuff, I have to say. Loads. Doesn't say alcohol of some sorts. But uh, you do have a bit of a... Feel a bit of a burn there. But the marvelous thing about it for me is this oiliness soothing the skin just gorgeous gorgeous look at the shininess on my skin lovely you know what i feel that it's so good that i'm gonna put it all over there we go bit let's spread it ah yes just gorgeous yeah it's like i'm moisturizing the skin at, at this moment lovely just lovely both the soap and the splash i have to say in terms of skin careness top let's put it back there now let's recap the shave we used the simpson trafalgar t3 i haven't used this in a long time i still say for the price it's one of the best synthetics you can get in terms of price performance um big you have if you don't like big ones you have the smaller t2 and an even even smaller T1 um, but it's, it's a workhorse I would have to say and uh, it's well known all over so that's the Trafalgar T3 by Simpson then we used the Hotwell in a level 4 Hotwell 6C in a level 4 you don't need to talk much about the Hotwell 6C or even the 6S I haven't tried the 6S but everyone tells me that it's exactly the same that's not much of a difference except for the material and maybe the weight a bit but um, you know what you're getting with this this one is I normally say to beginners I advise the other ones but that's because of budget wise most people don't want to invest which I don't think is a lot but uh, so, uh, some people don't want to invest like 50 uh, to get this one and they prefer something in the 20s 30s that's why I advise the other ones but uh, if you want to go a bit more up this is the one I always advise because you can always exchange you can find your perfect level in my case normal is the normal f normally is the level four sometimes I go up sometimes I go down but a uh, level 4 normally is my perfect spot with a Hotwell 60 um, so that's what we used and then the soap by grooming department La Ventura that I have here I have to say the the scent is strong it feels complicated I feel that there's more stuff that I'm not catching there um, it's a twisty lavender kind of that way it feels more woodsy but you feel the lavender but you feel some woodsiness there you feel some um, I would call it citrusy but I'm not 
not completely sure, but it feels like a complicated, strong, not intense on the puck when I opened it, it was about a five. But as soon as the water hit and I started leathering, it intensified straight away and you feel the difference. Yeah, the scent from the soap to the splash is the same, but the splash is stronger, more intense. Yeah, in terms of the leather, exceptional leather, I have to say. It's that leather that I love that makes that creaminess there that... Mm, love it, just love it. The only small little thing, but I have, I think it might be because it's a really thirsty soap. Uh, on the first pass, it dried up really quick on my skin. The, on the other hand, is if I put a bit of water, the, the the slickness would come up again. But you felt it from the first pass with the the, the razor. It, it just glides. It's like there's nothing there. It's just really really slick. Protects a lot, I have to say. And um, although it doesn't. I, I, I feel that if you want a buff, uh, you should put a bit more leather there. But uh, the, the dryness that I was feeling there is not the dryness of the skin. It's just um, you don't feel slickness there because the skin was just feeling gorgeous from the first. Just gorgeous, I have to say. Loved it. Loved it. I'm going to leave it there upside down, drying. And then the splash. The splash, I have to say, it's like an oily lotion. The scent itself is the same as the soap. A bit more intense. I'll give it almost a seven. But you feel any, I don't know if it shows, I would love to see if it shows on, on, on camera how shiny my skin is at the moment and suited. Just gorgeous guys, lovely. So the intensity is a bit higher, a bit more strong than the soap in terms of the scent. It's kind of an oily lotion there, you feel a bit of the burn, but I don't think it has alcohol. Uh, at least I don't read it here on the ingredients at all, but it has a lot of good stuff I have to say. That's it, that was our shave for today, another one off the board. I I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, if you did, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to put a like on it. And if you want to help the channel even more, there's my affiliate links down below. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Ciao.